Hi there, I'm about to massage Chewy's back and the spine area here. So this is how I actually start. I usually massage the, the neck area, but the back I go up and down, up and down, down his spine, up and down like that. And he loves that. He's stretching right now while I'm doing that. And then I move back and forth like this, just squeeze him so he can feel all the nerves moving back and forth. So I'm gonna try that one more time. See if I can get a better angle this way. So I'm doing this up and down, up and down. Okay, and then I go back and massage his neck. Okay, now I'm going to do his arms. So I stretch out his arm and I move back and forth, like kind of squeezing underneath his arms. And as I'm doing that, I'm pulling a little bit forward. So it's a little bit upward. And then I just squeeze, just squeeze, 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 squeeze. And just move the circulation and I move back like that. And I do the same thing with his arms in the front. I just squeeze squeeze under his armpit a little bit with my thumb but these fingers here are above his shoulder blade and i just move it back and forth all the way to the end of the shoulder blade back here to massage it and then i just move his arms up a little bit Let's see if i can angle this so you can see move his arms up a little bit and I squeeze and then now i'm going to pull it towards me a little bit and as i do that i'm just massaging along his shoulder blade again and then I just go down his arm again and then I move again his shoulder blade and then I massage his neck and then that's what I do for his front so I squeeze under his arm a little bit where my my thumb feels just a little bit and then also my four fingers are going along his arm and then I go all the way to the shoulder blade. And then, so he doesn't like it all the time me doing it, but I have to do that to stretch out. And then I move along his neck so he can feel that. Move along his neck and rub. So now I'm gonna go to work towards his butt area. So I'm gonna do it again, the kneading along his spine and his back. And then I go over here, which is his bottom area, and I massage that. And I get his leg, and I just massage. Uh, let me see if I can bring the thing a little bit over. So I massage his leg. Let's see if you can see that better. Pull it and I just massage like this. And it's kind of like kneading, but I'm doing with my thumbs this time. And I also just rub his butt area, move his legs a little bit forward, and I just rub his butt again. And then I'm going to pull it this way a little bit away from me and just rub the thigh area and just rub, rub, rub. rub. He's got a little bump right there. I don't touch that. I just rub right up here where the thigh connects to the back area. And I rub that and as I do that, I pull his little leg a little bit that way. And then I just pull it back this way again and rub his butt and do this also. Rub there, rub his thigh and then his feet. And then I go back and massage the back, kneading the back again where the spine's at. And then I have him flip over so I can do the other side. Um, sometimes he likes to be on the edge of the, the blanket or the pillow. I mean, not blanket, the blanket or the mat. So I'll pull him forward a little bit this way, a little bit this way. And then I just roll him over. Well, he sometimes does it for me. Just rolls over. And we do the same thing. We're doing the front. 
of his legs. That's too high. Get another book. Let's see if we can put it lower. There we go. Back up a little bit in there. So I do the same thing. I rub his shoulders. And this is on the other side, by the way. And I pull his arm forward. And I do the squeezing again. But this time my thumb is at the top and not at the and his arm like on the other side. And I just do a little bit of squeeze and not too hard. And then I also, as I do that moving backwards, I do it on the, the thumb also on the shoulder blade at the top. And I squeeze my hair a little bit. Circulation, a little bit right here too. And then I move right here to his neck area. And just have, you know, relax and just a meeting there too. And there's another thing you can do too, which is, wow, let's see if I can get up here. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is between the, uh, the elbow area. And then you go under his arm and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you do the massage. 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 And I go stretch it out away from his body. Stretch out his shoulders. So you can see it a little bit like this. So I'm bending this way. And then I go up his neck again. And I'm going to go underneath again. He's stretching right now. He loves that. Stretch. And then massage here. And then I'm doing the back again. Um, same, but instead of a, well, I showed you the last time on a, on a different angle. So I'm using my thumbs going back and forth, kneading him. <sighs> Wish I could show you that part too. Let me see if I can show you that part too. So I'm going to move it around this way so you can see. I'm kneading him like this with my thumbs. And then you also go, I can do the same thing with his, his thigh. I do the same thing as I did on the other side. Massage him in this way. Let's see if I can move it that way again. My husband was here to help me out on this part, but he's teaching a class right now. So, hopefully he can show you how I do the uh, cooking. So, doing the same thing, just massage in the thighs. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then I pull this way away from him a little bit, and then right here I just massage between his thighs and his... Um, his back. This is squeeze, squeeze. That's what I do. And then the same thing over here, squeeze. And then you massage his butt area right there. And then this, go stretch it a little bit and stretch it a little bit that way. And that's it.